For cheap and instant GTA 5 money, click the link in the description. What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing 5 secret tricks with you guys that you may not know about in GTA Online. This in fact is a very popular series on my channel and if you guys want to check out any of the previous episodes you can of course do so, there will be links in the description. I've certainly shown off some very, very cool tricks in the past, and I've got five more to share with you guys in this video. So without any further ado, let's get straight into things. So to start things off, I'm going to be showing you guys a trick which involves the new Deadline outfit, which is also known as the new Tron outfit in GTA Online. And what you guys may not know about this outfit is that it is in fact partially bullet resistant. Usually one shot to the head with any weapon would kill you instantly, but whilst wearing the new Deadline outfit with the helmet on, you can take two shots before you die. Now this may not seem all that special at first, but it can in fact be very, very useful in some situations, especially if someone is trying to snipe you and they hit you in the head, you'll be able to take two shots instead of being killed straight away after the first. And also bear in mind, if you are shot in the head and you lose some health, if you hide, eat some snacks and replenish your health, you can keep taking two shots before you die, just as long as you can keep your health at full. So I guess this is kind of useful to bear in mind, as the Deadline outfit does offer some protection to a certain degree, but if you're looking for a helmet which offers the best protection, your best bet is the bulletproof helmet, which can take three shots from any weapon before you're killed. Anyway, so moving on to trick number two. Now this one isn't all that useful, but it's still a cool little feature that you may not know about in GTA Online. And this basically involves you getting drunk at your motorcycle clubhouse. Now just in case you didn't know, after a while, you'll get to a certain point where you're so drunk that your character will in fact pass out. Now it will take you around about 10 to 15 drinks or so, which will take around about 2 minutes or so to actually do, but after a while as you guys can see, you're going to fall over and pass out, and you'll then respawn downstairs, puking in the toilet. And this in fact is a very different response or cutscene to what you'll see if you pass out somewhere else from being drunk in the game. So for example, in the apartment, if you drink too much wine, after a while you'll pass out and you'll respawn downtown at the nearest hospital. This also happens, by the way, if you take too many hits from the bong, again, after around about 10 to 15 hits or so, you'll also pass out and spawn at the exact same location down at the nearest hospital. And you can also do this on your yacht as well, but the result which you get isn't quite as good as the previous two ones, because when you pass out and respawn, you'll be in your bed. But nevertheless, this is overall a very cool little secret feature which many players in GTA Online simply won't know about. Now moving on to trick number three. Now there aren't many vehicles in GTA Online which are bulletproof, but surprisingly one vehicle that is, is the Kraken Sub. So as you guys can see right now in the video, my friend has just come ashore in his submarine, but no matter how many times I shoot or where I shoot, my friend doesn't take any damage whatsoever. And that's because the glass on the Kraken submarine is completely bulletproof. But so is the rest of the vehicle as well. If I was to try and shoot my friend from the side of the submarine or from the back, he wouldn't take any damage either. So if every now and again you'd like to try something different and maybe go and roam around the deep seas in your submarine, you don't have to worry about other players in the game trying to shoot you when you go above the water because the glass itself and the entire vehicle is completely bulletproof. Now moving on to the next secret feature, now this one is probably one of the least useful ones I'm going to show you guys in this video, but it's still a cool one and I'd imagine about 99% of you guys watching won't know about this, even though GTA 5 is over 3 years old and in a way this feature is kind of obvious. So in the Grapeseed area, which is just north of Sandy Shores, there are some fruit trees dotted about in some of the fields, just like this location I'm at right now in the video. And when you crash into some of these fruit trees, you'll actually see some fruit dropping down. Now sure this secret feature might not be all that amazing, it may not blow your minds, but it's still one of those really cool and kind of special things that Rockstar's put in the game, and it just goes to show the amount of detail that Rockstar has actually gone to when it comes to making this game. Now although I'm pretty sure these dropping fruit don't really have much use in the game, there might be other small features just like this that do in fact have some form of relevance or use in the game, which may possibly lead to some form of easter egg that we simply don't know about yet. 
Despite the game being over three years old, there are still new things being found all the time, nearly every day in fact. But moving on to the fifth and final trick in today's video, this one is certainly very, very useful and it involves the Vapid Guardian pickup truck. Now as I'm sure you guys know, there are a number of vehicles in the game you guys can stand on whilst they're driving around, but all those vehicles are mostly vans and trucks. But you can in fact also stand in the back of the Vapid Guardian whilst it's driving around without falling over or falling out altogether. And as far as I'm aware of, it's the only pickup truck that you guys can do this in. Now although I'm sure it goes without saying, this in fact has many different uses. For starters, the vehicle itself is usually a four-seater vehicle, but seeing the players can also stand in the back, I guess you could drive around with about eight to ten players or so, both on and in the vehicle. And by having one friend in the back of the pickup truck with a mini gun just like I'm doing, it makes it into a makeshift Karen Technical or Insurgent, but at a fraction of the price. The Karen Technical will cost you almost a million dollars, the Insurgent pickup truck is almost 1.5 million dollars, but you can purchase the Vapid Guardian for $375,000, and unlike the other two vehicles, you can store the Vapid Guardian in your garage, meaning you can use it whenever you want. Plus, in my opinion, it is a much cooler and better looking vehicle. Anyway, so there we go guys, that is pretty much it for this video then. I hope you guys have enjoyed these 5 secret tricks and features that you may not know about in GTA 5. If you guys want to check out some more secret tricks and features, you can of course check out some of the previous episodes to this series, there will be some links in the description. But if you guys could also drop a like on this video, it would be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.